Failure is not an option. Cascade 5 and 3 Sierra Julia is checking on. We declared an emergency. We're feathered on the left engine. We're heading to Medford. Well, did that get your attention? It sure as hell got mine. So let me set this up for you. Everything on the video is as it happened. Audio recordings, video recordings. I didn't think I had the cameras on and available, as you could hear early on. We went to Canada for a trip last week, and I left Canada and cleared customs in Portland. And this was the leg from Portland to Oakland. I didn't want to video because I videoed to Canada and from Canada to Portland, so the cameras were just there, but the batteries were low and the memory cards were almost full and I was just happy to just be on our way back to uh, back home. And it's funny because as we left Portland, I was thinking to myself how great the plane was, how great it was flying and uh, just humming right along. And then in the area just about where Eugene, Oregon is, I started getting a rough engine on the left side and immediately looked over at the engine analyzer and saw the number three was cold. Here's a photoshopped image, but that's what the number three cylinder looked like. Thinking maybe it was a fouled plug or something and it got progressively worse. I headed towards Eugene and then decided to go to Medford. And this video picks up the flight as we check in with Cascade Approach being handed off from Seattle Approach, where I told them that I had declared the emergency and that we were feathered and heading to Medford. So I think this is good to uh, post because it brings you into the cockpit for an actual emergency. And for those of you that are training or uh, God forbid that ever happens to you, but it might give you a little insight on what goes on and what to do. And here we go. So here's the flight aware data. We left Portland, VFR, climbing to 13,500, VFR to Oakland, pretty much a straight line. Everything's going great. And then here it comes. Here's a panel shot when uh, we had the engine feathered. You can see that the first arrow here shows the left engine gauge. Pretty much everything off. The oil temperature is still holding some temperature. Then the left engine analyzer, pretty much dark because everything is cooling off fast in the altitude in the air. Here's what it would have looked like. This is a photoshopped image, but that's what number three looked like when I looked over at it. You can see the three engine gauges, manifold pressure, RPM, and fuel flow. They're all split arrows. And then down below, I got the fuel mixture and the throttle at cutoff since we're feathered. So you can watch the flight aware. Watch the turn to the right. My initial instinct was to turn for the nearest airport. Would have been Eugene. But then I got things set up and decided to head to Medford. You can fly with a rough running engine, but here is where the oil started coming out. That's when I decided it was time to feather. Here's where I feathered. I think that what happened was the cylinder was creating excessive crankcase pressure, which blew out the seal for the vacuum pump that caused the oil leak. I didn't think I had any cameras running. So what you're hearing and seeing is a candid conversation between myself, my wife Nancy, and air traffic control. Here's my check on for Cascade Approach. Yeah, I got no camera. Sorry? Yeah, I got no cameras, that's fine, I don't give a shit. Did you turn that one off? Yes, this ain't the time for that. This camera stayed on until landing, and the other camera shut off right when I went to tower. So these are the two cameras you'll be seeing. Cascade 5 and 3 Sierra Julia is checking on. We declared an emergency. We're feathered on the left engine. We're heading to Medford. 513 Sierra Julia, Cascade Approach, Medford Altimeter is 2976. You can expect runway 14 for landing. And were you able to pick up the uh, ADIS? Uh, 3 Sierra Julia, negative, sir. I just saw it on my ADSB. I got the um, wind calm and, uh, and the barometer. Pretty much all we need. 
Tower 3, Sierra Juliet, Roger. 14 minutes to there. Why don't you have any ATIS? Uh, Because I don't. You mean the weather? Oh. I got it from there. ATIS is the weather. Oh. 12 minutes to Medford. It'd be stupid to go to, to try to go to um, offer like this. Your life is more important than a few dollars. Twelve minutes out. You can put on some air if you want to. I don't want to touch a thing. Okay. Yeah, you can use this if you want. No, I'm. A, I do have it open. I have it open. So of course I'm editing this video for time. But Nancy said you can turn the air conditioning on, and the air conditioning runs off the right engine. And it is my belief that if that right engine is running well and doing well, do not touch anything. Don't change any settings. Don't turn the air conditioning on. Do nothing to do anything that might upset the balance of that engine. Because the right engine does not know what the left engine is doing. So I want to keep it that way. It's a middle cylinder on this side. So maybe I'll get the top overhaul done. It'd probably be out a couple weeks. Who would do it? The shop here would have to. Christopher sent me the audio files from ATC Live. So I'm going to splice those in and I'm just putting them up against the outside look. They aren't timestamped correctly, but the audio is correct. Attention all aircraft, please stand by. I have an emergency in progress. Truck 80, Medford Ground. Truck 80, do you copy the information? I'm not sure if you have all the details. I gathered alert to uh, for an engine that shut down Correction, truck 80 negative. It is for an engine shutdown. They are having low oil pressure, I believe, on one engine, one cylinder, so they shut the engine down. They're inbound. They're unknown amount of fuel known. It's not that he's out of fuel. He has. We are, we don't know the fuel state at this time. Two personnel on board. Roger, thank you. And, uh, and truck 80, I'm un unknown at this time. I've given the authorization for runway 14. Once Cascade gets the aircraft on their frequency, we'll inquire. Citizen 4, Quebec, Metro Tower. We're here, 74, Quebec. Citizen 4, Quebec, we have an emergency inbound from the north-northeast. Is there any way you can move further eastbound? Yeah, we can move east. Let us know if we're in the way, Citizen 4, Quebec. Citizen 4, Quebec, thank you. I think you could talk Paul into coming and getting us. It's only an hour flight. Let's get on the ground first. So that's a good sign. Nancy's worried about how we're going to get home, not if we're going to get down safely. And over three, Sierra Juliet, just wanted to check. Uh, is everything going all right so far? Yeah, everything's great, three, Sierra Juliet. We're showing 510 vertical speed required to the airport. We're showing a 300-foot descent. We're still doing 135 across the ground. So we're all set up for a good profile. Number three, Sierra Juliet, roger. And just to uh, confirm on the weather, I am showing uh, still winds calm, visibility of 1-0 with smoke, and uh, sky clear otherwise. Temperature of 1-9-er and dew points 4. Current altimeter, I'm showing a 2 9 7 6 3 Sierra Julie, roger. Yeah, we're all set up. And 3 Sierra Julie, just for the uh, recording, in flight, left engine got rough, number 3 cylinder got cold, uh, came back, went back, oil pressure started to drop. Number three got colder, all the rest got colder, oil on the cowling. I suspect uh, it sucked a valve or something out of that number three cylinder. What's that mean? It means number number three, Sarah Julia, thank you. It means the motherfucker broke. That's I can't why. suck a valve out of it. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah, we're close to Medford now. Eight minutes. Okay, I see autopilot off. I'm just going to fly it myself. Why don't you leave the autopilot on? Because I need to feel it for a while. Number 90091, nine, Mike, contact Seattle Center, 127.55. 127.55, 901, Mike, and 37, Juliet, you're doing a great job. Hey, thanks a lot. That's a compliment. Yeah.
Ever had to declare an emergency? Yeah, not really. Kind of with Paul we did, but... Uh, yeah. Did you ever tell him you were blew a ride? Oh yeah, we told him the whole thing. They. No. We're going to put down safely, right. and there's all the fire equipment everybody Oh yeah, they're going to follow us. Yeah, after we get out and, and everything's fine, yeah. And Friday, nobody's going to look at it till Monday. Oh, we're just, we're down for a while. Just consider cars are us. Air 5130 Sierra Juliet, the Medford Airport is currently at your 11 o'clock and 1-2 miles. 3 Sierra Juliet, um, not quite making it out yet, but uh, we're heading that way. 3 Sierra Juliet, Roger. Truck 80 Medford, uh, ground update. Truck 80 aircraft, 15 miles north. I'm, it looks like they're going to be setting up a runway 1 for landing probably in about 4 or 5 minutes. The problem was the engine was running rough. His third cylinder went cold, went hot again, and then cold again, so he shut the engine down. There is oil observed on the cowling. How many minutes? Four and a half. Four fifty-five. Wow, it is smoky here. Ooh. 513 Sierra Julia, just a couple things for you. If you should need it, there is a small strip just uh, heading to your right about one to two o'clock and two miles with a three thousand foot turf runway uh, called Beagle Sky Ranch, uh, but everything's looking good for 1-4 at Medford right now. Their new observation, nothing really changed, winds calm, visibility of 10 with smoke and sky clear, updated temperature to 2, 2.3, and altimeter remains 2, 9, or 7, 6. Well, I appreciate you doing Thanks a lot. Yeah, so far so good. I haven't touched the right engine uh, for, for half an hour or longer, so it's, uh, it's doing just fine. Air 30 Juliet, uh, good to hear, and the airport now at your uh, 10 to 11 o'clock and 8 miles. Okay, yeah, we're still looking uh, negative contact, and we're just trying to square in for the base. Or uh, airport in sight now, 30 Juliet. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a road. Yeah, I see it. Oh, I see it. See it right there. That's a road. And we are familiar with the airport, 3 series, but we've been here before, so uh, I do have it in sight. 513 Sierra Juliet, contact Medford Tower, 119er, point four. Truck 80, the emergency aircraft is seven miles north. We'll be landing runway 14. Roger, seven miles north, runway 14. 19-4 for the Tower 3, Sierra Juliet. Tower, good morning, Golden Eagle 513 Sierra Juliet. Uh, we are six out for landing. November 513 Sierra Juliet, Medford Tower, runway 14, cleared to land, wind calm, Medford altimeter 2975. Okay, uh, 3 Sierra Juliet, just so I don't have to hit a couple more buttons, I forgot. What's the runway length here, 7500? Watch the turn coordinator triangle at the top of the left screen. As I'm reducing power, I'm becoming uncoordinated, and you'll see me correct it here shortly. Uh, uh, correction, twin says on 3 Sierra Juliet, 8800. Okay, okay, 3 Sierra Juliet, roger. Sierra Juliet, uh, if you know it, uh, the fuel remaining and verify two personnel on board. 138.4 gallons, uh, two souls on board. Three Sierra Juliet, we'll make the runway no problem. North three Sierra Juliet, Roger. Truck 80, 138.4 pounds of fuel. Now you broadcasted that on tower. North three Sierra Juliet, say again. I said you broadcasted on tower for that. Affirmative. Uh, they're simulcasting for November 3, Sierra Juliet. Uh, it's affirmative. Okay. Uh, we got the field made. Uh, we got the field made. We're putting the gear down. Number 3, Sierra Juliet. Roger. Runway 14 cleared to land. Clear to land. 14. Wind check. Wind calm for number 3, Sierra Juliet. Uh, thank you for that, 3, Sierra Juliet. One. Takano at 9 or Mike Tango for change proof. Uh, yeah. 4 8 my Mike Tango, thanks. Come on. Says the 4 8 Quebec. You can uh, resume your own navigation. Thank you. Thank you, 7 4 Quebec. It took a while. The aircraft, three mile final, runway one four. Bye. And tower three Sierra Julia. It took a while, but we got three greens. North three Sierra Julia, Roger. It took a while for the gear to come down and to get the three green indicator lights that the gear is down and locked because on a 421, it's engine driven hydraulic pumps that run the gear. And I only have half the power because I only have one engine. Truck 80 
aircraft, three mile final, runway one four. Uh, 3A33 Quebec, uh, 8 miles west with the uh, full stop. Cessna 3A33 Quebec, Memphis proceed inbound, report left midfield down on runway 32. Report midfield down on 32, 3A33 Quebec. Nothing to see outside because there's no camera, but you can see on a synthetic vision I'm lined up for the runway. And three Sierra Julie confirming two red, two white on the glide slope. No, three Sierra Julie, Roger. Is there only one runway here? Yeah. How long is Auburn? 1,500? Okay, I gotta land, honey. North three Sierra Julie, gear does appear down. Three Sierra Julie, thank you. Yeah, I got three greens. Excellent. Now I'll turn the AC on. It's okay. North 3, Sierra Juliet, if able, turn right Alpha 3. And do you know where you're going to park? Yeah, wherever there's a maintenance guy, that's for sure. 3, Sierra Juliet, got oil all over the cowling. We're going to try to keep the momentum up so we don't uh, stop on the runway. North 3, Sierra Juliet, Roger. I have jets there. I think that's where the maintenance is performed. Turn right on Alpha, then turn, correction, turn right on Alpha 3, then turn right on Alpha. Just keep it rolling. Okay, yeah, it might be two left turns to 270, but uh, we'll do it. North 3, Sierra Juliet, Roger. Now, which way from here? North 3, Sierra Juliet, turn right on Alpha. North 3, Sierra Juliet, truck 80, stand by. Truck 8, if you want to follow the aircraft into parking, you can proceed on Alpha. 3 Sierra Julie, just continue taxiing straight ahead. You'll turn left at Charlie 2. Turn left at Charlie 2, and you'll see the jet center. That's, uh, I think, where all the maintenance is performed. 3 Sierra Julie, Roger, we're, we're to get there. You might see a 270 to get there, but we'll get to jet center. So, uh, 3 Sierra Julie, Roger. Um, and uh, if you can't make it, just let us know, and we'll get facilities out there to assist you into the parking. There is a fire vehicle that is following you. I'll advise them that of your intentions that you might have to uh, maneuver a little bit. Tower 3, Sierra Julie, thanks very much. We're shutting down here in a second. Tower 3, Sierra Julie, uh, just real quick, and you said it was 138 pounds, 138.4 pounds. Is that was how you reported that? Nah, it's 136.8 gallons now. Roger. Thank you, sir. Gallons. All right, safely on the ground. Here is the view you don't want to see, your engine spewing oil. There are the guys from the jet center looking it over, trying to figure out where the leak is and all that. It's still up there. Here's the vacuum pump they took off to find the seal. And then they bore scoped later on, a few days later, number three cylinder. A piece of the piston broke off, and uh, that's a picture of it. Well, as of September 17th, plane still in Medford. Hope to have it back in a couple weeks in Auburn.